But at the end of the day, we're going to have President Trump or we're going to have President Biden. And so we have to figure out what to do. And they have two very different pictures of what America should be and where America should go. And that's where the tension comes from. But both sides, David, are trying to tell the other side how to live. They both are. That's right. And so I think the lie that I believed when I was on the left is that it was only the religious right that was telling me how to live and what to do. And what I found as a person deeply rooted in the secular left was they do the same thing. They do the same thing. And so I think that mm-hmm. anybody who tells you to yeah. check your morals when you vote is a, is a person who lacks morals. Yeah. I think that's wrong. Um, because then, then what's guiding you? If, you're, if, if you have no principles, then what's the point? Uh, A.B., I'm going to throw to you. I know I talk forever, brother. <laughs> No, 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 but again, it's, it's, it's the Matt Brown show. I'm good. I'm, I'm just guessing. Did you hear that? I heard it. I heard I, it. I don't think Jeff heard. It's no, the heard Matt it. Brown show. I heard it. I yeah. heard it. I'm just over here in the corner. Yeah. I'm on the corner. <laughs> no, no. I mean, David, listen, um, Matt, your past is right. Um, when the founding fathers started the country they, and, and put in capitalism, they knew without morals, it would be disaster. Capitalism without morals is a disaster. We're now in disaster mode. Yeah. And sometimes when you fail to look at the moral compass of your life, mm-hmm. you get what we are now. We're making excuses on both sides, the left and the right. Um, you know, people say, you know, go in the voting booth and hold your nose. Now I, I, I want to know exactly what I'm smelling when I go in there. Yeah, amen. And I'm gonna make a choice. Hmm. That's when I, right based upon the smell that's good i'm not gonna hold my nose and make a vote because see at the end of the day i know people say well ab you got to make a choice you got to know i i'm i i went to beirut i i sent crews to 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 the war i'm because i'm an american i'm going to choose my vote if i want to write matt brown in because i value matt brown's opinion as this policy I'm writing them in. It's my vote. It's my concern. If I vote right. um, right. someone else, you know, I, I'm a start. For, I I'm a, I am very conservative, mm-hmm. and like Matt said, it's a holy moment when I go in that booth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going for. The, I'm I'm gonna go. I'm going to lean more conservative than anything else, but I'm going to vote my country because I can't make progress without excuses. I can't say. Well, I got no. I no. I I got to vote how I feel. So if if I do the if I go in the booth and vote my conscience, I'm not. I don't regret my vote. Mm-hmm. And I'll deal with whoever the king is. I'll submit to the king mm-hmm. or to the ruler, to the leader, mm-hmm. because God ordained that. But yeah. I'm going to vote my conscience because, according to America, that's my my vote. Yeah, amen. And I'm going to do my, my conscience and do it to the glory of God. You know. But again, that's me. Um, there's just some things that, that um, the things on the left, I will never affirm, you know, the things on the right that kind of bother me. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll jump and down about abortion, you know, in the womb, but we won't be upset about abortion outside the womb, mm-hmm. you know, and there's, there's, this me and abortion outside the womb and inside the womb right. that we're not looking at. Um, so it's, 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 it's a complex situation, yeah. but again, yeah. your vote is your vote. Go in that holy, that holy place of the booth, vote your moral compass, vote your moral conviction mm-hmm. and then once you do you leave the rest of god good that's, that's good. it 